and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code PULA at checkout for 20% off your order. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, something huge is coming, guys. I want to go over some of the content that's going to be coming up real soon. EA mode more than likely will be hinting at it on stream in the next day or so. Hopefully today at 10.30, so if you're seeing this video, it probably happened already because I'll probably post this later on. If it hasn't happened, if it's at 10.30, it hasn't happened. But there are two big promos coming pretty soon. Some pretty big content coming soon. Now, Ultimate Legends was part of it, but we already got that. Now we got the next two big promos that will be coming. I want to go over a little bit of both, uh, pretty much just go over a little bit of both of them. Kind of cover what will be coming out, what players you can expect. Because, guys, these two promos, specifically the second one, Typically have a lot of the same players every year. I'm kind of know what's expected already and the uh, second promo is more than more than not kind of like a Super Bowl type promo where it has like a lot of players some sets a few masters Similar to one of those bigger promos another promo is kind of well. I'll get into it guys. You, you'll stay tuned for all of it now Before we get into this video guys make sure to go down below Hit that subscribe button turn the noni bell boys can join the family we are 600 away from 20,000 subscribers Let's see if we can get there as soon as possible. The goal was February 20th at this point that's 10 days away i mean we might be able to hit it i'm not entirely sure but let's see if we can comment down below what you guys think of the news i'm about to give you guys or info i should say as well as make sure to give this video a big thumbs up can we get this video to 300 likes guys that'd be greatly appreciated now guys first off the first promo that will be coming to madden within the next few days more than likely because last year i think it came out right around this, like right around this date too is the team mvp promo now if you guys know what the team mvp promo is I mean, I'm going to take you guys over. So team MVP is pretty much like this. It's like the Theme Diamond 2, but with modern day players. So it won't be like old school, like legend type players. It'll be, it'll be current day. So more than likely, it'll be something like this. It'll be just like this, like Theme Builder Bengals, except there'll be players there. So you guys remember when we had like the, the Theme Builder George Kittle, the G Theme Builder uh, Darius Slay. It'll be like those, but these cards should be about 97 overalls. And last year, these cards were really, really good. So we had like Julio Jones, like Dak Prescott, Darius Slay, Travis Kelsey, some linemen. That's the kind of players that we'll be getting. So this is kind of like where they give every team in the NFL an upgrade to their um, to the team, as well as a player that maybe been missing or hasn't gotten a card. So like Cowboys team teams might get Dak Prescott 97, Falcons might get like a Julio Jones. You guys, you guys understand the point. Now it's 32 teams, just like it is with Theme Diamonds. It's every single team in the NFL. And do they do a master? I don't believe they do do a master for that. It would be cool if they added a team MVP master, like the best card in the NFL if they, or something like that. But I don't know if they'll end up doing that. But if they do, that would be super cool. Especially because I like when we have master cards. Now, that should be coming within the next few days. That usually does come. Now, guys, do not sell stuff in your binder again. Now, now that you're done with theme diamonds and you probably binder cleaned out, whatever you have extra, do not sell just yet because theme, theme MVPs or team MVPs are typically just like theme diamonds. They have the set of all the players they're going to need. So as long if you have players from that team, it may, it's beneficial because they could go up in price as well as you could use them. And, and by the way, the unlike Team Diamonds, the team MVPs the team MVPs also hit the trading currency market over here. It'll be like team MVP packs, not team MVP packs. Uh there'll be house rules. Last year, last year guys, house rules literally was like introduced right around this time for team MVPs. One of the first house rules was team MVPs, and actually a few weeks after that. The next one was a free 99 tribute Gorkowski for house rules and that. So there was quite a few good house rules around this time of the year. So I'm kind of expecting some of that. Now I'm going to take you guys over to Mudhead real quick. Just to show you guys some of the team MVP cards. So you guys have a good idea what I'm talking about. For Mudhead, you can see we got Devontae Adams, Darius Slay, Leonard Williams, Clayus Campbell, Nate Solder, Soldier, however you say it, DeForest Buckner, Devontae Kazi, Juwan James, David Johnson, Mike Evans, Jamie Collins Sr., Philip Lindsay, Zay Jones. So yeah, as you guys see, Zay Jones clearly wasn't the best player on the team, but he probably deserved a card at that point in, at, in time. David Johnson, William Jackson, Demario Davis, John Johnson, Shaq Mason, Travis Kelsey. Now, most of these cards, like, they're pretty good. Depends on the player, though. Some of them weren't that great. Like, this Jalen Smith was amazing. 92 speed, 96 hit power, 91 zone. 95 play rec, 6 foot 2. Very good linebacker card. Now, the beauty of these cards are for two things. First, you get really good cards in the game, and you can pick from them from any team. Also, theme teams. Theme teams get a massive bump during this time period. Because remember, there's also going to be lower pieces in the set that will attribute to this. And actually, guys, I take it back. I take it back what I said before about the saving the cards in your binder. You do actually get, there will be team MVPs and team builders that you get to make the set. Keeping those players can still be useful, though, anyways. But actually, there will be team builders you're going to have to pull separately. So remember that. Maybe you can exchange some of the players you have in your binder. 
but you can't depend on the players you have to purely make it in my opinion because it's going to be affected by that now coming down we got Deshaun Watson that was another good one Chris Carson Marlon Humphrey Khalil Mack he was probably the best one that everyone really wanted when it came down to the team MVP promo. Harrison Smith, Derek Henry, David DeCastro, Josh Norman, Tahir Whitehead, Taylor Morton, Blake Martinez, Kenny Galladay, Kelvin Beecham, Andrew Norwell, Alex Ogletree, Joe Staley, Julio Jones, Xavier Howard, and we should be coming here at the end at some point, Antoine Bethea, Pierre Paul. You guys get the point. I'm not going to go over all these, but you can see Ezekiel Elliott was a really cool one. Now, what I find weird was that I see two that that's... Was there was there an offensive? There was an offensive and defensive team MVP per team. Okay, that makes more sense. So there was an offensive and a defensive per team, which I actually forgot about. So there was 32 and 32. That's interesting. They did drop and bracketed though, guys. So do remember that they did drop and bracketed. So they didn't all come out at once. It was kind of like how um, they really haven't bracketed anything this year anyway. So maybe they're not going to do that again this year. But that'd be a lot of cards to drop at once. That's literally going to be like 64 cards you're going to drop at one time. That's going to be a lot. I don't know if they end up doing that. But let's head back over to the man screen real quick. Two MVPs beyond that's really just that's it right there. That's it. Like they drop a lot of players. You have a lot of cool cards. Maybe some house rules. Maybe a few solos. Some theme builders. Jacks out theme teams. But now, guys, let's talk about the next thing, which is the NFL Combine promo. Now, the NFL Combine promo is one of the coolest promos all year. It's always super fun because what do we like in Madden? We like speed. We like jumping. We like athleticism. We like agility. The NFL Combine promo is literally the culmination of the most athletic players in the NFL. Typically, the ones that can jump the highest, the ones that can run the fastest, the ones that could catch the best the ones that can the most agile the ones with the best excel so the combine promo gives us a bunch of freaking athletes so guys this is what you can expect from the uh, common promo master sets for chris johnson almost every year ever chris johnson has been the combine master 99 speed 99 overall 99 agility that's what we can expect 99 juke so more than likely we'll get a chris johnson then even a even after that we're gonna get probably we can always get another one, master it really just depends on how he is feeling but I'm expecting a master Chris Johnson. There's going to be master type sets like 96 overall cards, like 96 overall heroes. Now, what do we always get? We always get solos, probably a house rules for a free one. Last year, we got a solo free one and a house rules free one, as well as the Chris Johnson, the masters. And here are the cards you can usually expect. We usually get a McCaffrey. We usually get a Odell Beckham Jr. We usually get a Patrick Peterson. We usually get a Byron Jones. Now, Pat Pete, super fast. Byron Jones has the broad jump record. Chris Johnson had the 40 yard dash record. We might get a John Ross. Maybe not a high piece, but a lower piece. There's going to be a ton of good cards, guys. Just, we just get super athletes during this time. That's literally all it is. Super athletes. But let's head over to Mudd to show you guys some of the cards. As you guys can see the 99 Chris Johnson. I was talking about 99 speed, 99 excel, 99 agility, 99 looseness, 96 carry, 97 break tackle. See, this year I might actually end up picking that up. I never usually do because I usually have some glitchy Barry Sanders at this point in the year. But I don't this year. I have Bo Jackson. I'd much rather have Chris Johnson. I really haven't liked Bo Jackson, to be honest. Adrian Amos, Marshall Lattimore. Again, Marshall Lattimore is probably going to be like an end game cornerback. We'll probably get one of him. Clown is going to be an amazing right outside linebacker. And there, there's the John Ross I was talking about, 99 speed. The history Ross is actually really, really good. Josh Allen was an athletic quarterback, so that makes sense. Jarek McKinnon or Jarek McKinnon. Keanu Neal, Justin Simmons, Pat Pete. This is the Pat Pete card that we always get. If we get a Pat Pete card like this, I will definitely be picking him up. Byron Jones, he's always super solid as well. Luke Keekley. Again, gonna be, if we get him that super solid and we can put him on a tribute card, although it'd be kind of like 96, 97, 97. Luke Geekly, Telvin Smith, Brandon Williams, Daniel Hunter. Vernon Davis is always one of my favorite combine cards to get because he's always a super fast tight end. I always toss him in there. Odell Beckham Jr., always really great. You got Marcus Mariota, Pat O'Donnell, Dustin Hopkins, Ryan O'Neal. Pretty much you get like one of every position for the most part. There are tons of cards. I hope we get a new McCaffrey because I was not a fan of the other one. I would something slightly faster and I would use an end game to be quite honest with you guys. But you guys really get the point there. We're going to get a lot of low pieces. We're going to get a lot of high pieces. Let's head back over to Madden. For the most part, Madden is like a copy and paste type of, um, type of game mode. I mean, realistically, we're going to see similar stuff. Maybe not the exact same stuff. They, they just give us like a, they give us a different shirt, right? It's, it's still an American Eagle shirt, but it's, it's red. It's just not blue. So you kind of expect something damn near similar. So that kind of like gives you guys insight on what we're going to be expecting. Now, the dates for both things. Team MVP is probably within the next five days or so, I, if I had to guess. And then Combine Promo probably in like 10 to 15 days more than likely which really isn't that long it's like a week and a half it'll probably be coming pretty soon for the most part but that is about it for the video guys i hope you guys did enjoy it. if you are new to the channel make sure you're going below hit that subscribe button turn that noti bell boys come join the family and if you guys haven't already make sure you give this video a big thumbs up can we get this video to 300 likes that'd be greatly appreciated and comment down below what you guys think of both these promos which one are you more excited for the team mvps with nfl combine let me know down below in the comments that's about it i'm out see you guys next video peace